In my last video, I showed you renders of my Solaris corridor, and I said that I would show you uh, some of the patterns that I created in Substance Painter. They're very easy to do, and so I'm going to work on the pattern that was on the mirror, on the floor, and I, I'll some, do something on the computer. It might be a little bit different. So um, one thing I want to mention is, uh, first of all, you're going to have to have everything unwrapped. In order to do this so I've got everything unwrapped and for the mirror the main surface I'm going to want to work on is that front surface so I'm trying to make sure that I've got a relatively large area uh, for that to work um, for the computer the computer is just unwrapped and of course because I want the pattern here I need another large area as well I want the pattern on on both sides so we're going to look at that but the road in particular, not the road actually, it's the path or the floor, um, it curves like the corridor curves. And you're going to see that when I look at the uh, unwrap that it's, it's straightened out. And that's going to be important for putting the texture on. And in particular, if you want to paint on this in Substance Painter. So I'll show you that. So if you were to simply unwrap like you unwrap and you get this, you're going to want to straighten this. And I tend to use... Um, an add-on here called UV squares and I just select it and I go to grid by shape and I basically get my shape you might have to scale it down a little bit and I have it straightened out if you wanted to put text on this it's very important to have this straight so that's just something to think about you don't have to but it's going to look better all right so I'm going to show you how to do the patterns on these in substance painter so I've just got these three I'm going to export that as an FBX and open it in substance painter so here they are in substance painter I've already baked the mesh maps all right and hopefully you know how to do that and you may see a little shadow underneath that and that's because I had ambient occlusion on and so it gives a little bit of the interaction between them so uh, that's not ideal for something like this but we're not going to worry about it all right, so the first thing that we're going to look at is the mirror itself. So I can just focus on the mirror. And uh, to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, let's see, I'm going to create a fill here on the mirror. And I'm going to make this, uh, I want this to have, um, let's say, no, no normal in height. I want the metallic up. Now it's going to be on everything. Okay, and I'm going to bring the roughness down quite a bit. So as you can see, the, the this part, this mirror part is reflecting uh, whatever else is in the scene. In this case, it's the HDRI uh, image. And I just want to turn on anti-aliasing. It's already on there. Okay, so that, that, that was easy. But what we want to do is get a pattern on here. And so what I'm going to do is I'll just, I'm just going to call this mirror for now. And I, I'm going to... Uh, maybe i'll just use this aluminum pure i'm going to drag this in uh, above there and i'm going to put that just on this whole thing here so i'm just going to add a black mask and then come over here and select this area here so the mirror is untouched and i have a new material on there right now uh, this i'm going to change a little bit i'm going to decrease the uh, the color and uh, maybe the roughness like that that's okay for on the moment. Now, I also want to, on here, I'm going to add a filter. This is not the pattern part yet. This is just sort of setting it up. So I'll put this brushed uh, kind of look, this matte look. And we'll do that. And we'll just get some kind of slight imperfections or almost like roughness variation in there. All right, so I want to put a pattern on here like you see in the image or in the renders for my Solaris corridor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a fill layer and I want to use just height and uh, I'm going to bring the height up. I'll bring it up around halfway and I'm going to add a black mask and I'm going to add a fill. And in the grayscale of the fill, this is where I'm going to choose my pattern. And I'm going to choose dots for now. You could choose anything you want, actually dot. And I'm going to choose this one here. So it's metallic, great round. Do that and you'll start to see some dots, but some of it is going on to the mirror itself. And so the way that you can get that only on the background here and not on the mirror is create a folder, drag this into the folder, and create a black mask on the folder, and then just choose, uh, in fact, I just want this front face. So I'm just going to select that front face, and the rest of it will just have metal. So now it's not on the mirror, it's just on here, but it's not the right size. So let's come back to our pattern here. And we can come down here. I'll put the tiling all the way up. 
So we'll see this. I can play with the scale, make them a bit larger maybe. And let's go, let's change the tiling to, I'll just go with two for now. And let's go back to the main layer and bring the height up. Let's bring it all the way up. And we're starting to get what we want. A good idea for these things is to add above this um, pattern to add a blur filter. So check this out. If I go to filter and I just select blur, watch what's going to happen. All right. So that kind of improves, I think, what, what we're getting. And you can just decide how much you want to have. All right. And that's how I created that pattern on there. And of course, you can always come back and choose a different pattern here in the grayscale. Uh, maybe clear that and then we'll try uh, gray to let's see what we get. You know, this standard kind of one that you see on a lot of floors here. I'll just bring the tiling up and you know maybe I'll bring that to four or something. So, you know, up to you exactly which one you want to use. You can then add dirt, dust, whatever you want. So that's how I create that uh, in the background of the mirror. Uh, you can also use that for floors. Now I'll leave that and let's actually come over to the floor and we have this. And these shadows again are from the mirror and the computer. So that's just the way it is. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a, you know, a, a base metal material, let's say. So maybe I'll drop that down and bring the roughness up a little bit and do the same thing with the filter. I like to add this matte finish, matte finish rough. Okay, so there it is. Maybe play with the intensity, not too much. Maybe the scale, something like that. Let's say that's your, your floor. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, I can have the entire area with that. So I don't need to create a folder right now, although we might. We could create a fill and we will alt click on height. That will select just the height. This one I'm going to have go down. I'll bring it all the way down. Black mask and fill. It's almost always the same process. Grayscale. And now I'm going to search for stripes, which should be in your Substance Painter. Stripes. So we, we're starting to get this. Let's scroll down to pattern and change the shift. Bring it all the way back down. And now you have this. And then you can adjust the width. So each one of these is the stripes. Not the two black lines, but the actual thing there. So I'll bring up the number of stripes by doing this. Let's say we start with that. Does it look great yet? You can play with the softness and see if that will help you. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this, but let's add that filter. Let's add the blur filter. So come over to filter, blur, and right off the bat, it'll start looking a lot better. All right, and then you just decide how much you want to do this okay you can if you do that now it looks like that you know metal siding on those um storage or, or shipping crates or or a garage door or something like that but i'm just going to go down here and it could be that the height is a little bit too much you could do that kind of a thing and then just play with the lighting and and that's how i did that you can adjust the width and uh and all of that so as you can see this follows the curve and it goes all the way down um, one interesting thing you can do if you want to define an area where you have these um, is you can come back to, let's do it on the mask itself. Now, if you know, let's do it as a separate paint layer so we could change this. Let's go above the blur. Let's add a paint and I'm going to switch. I'm going to press uh, F1 and that's going to bring up the UVs like this. And let's see, let's go over to our alphas and find a square, SQ, square, this square rectangle. And if I wanted to paint on here, it's gonna be very difficult to get a nice line. That's why I wanted straight UVs. Now, if this is white right now, uh, and I paint, let's hold shift and control, click and pull down. I get this and I cut away, and you can see that, you know, what that effect would do. All right, so that's kind of interesting. Now, if I pull it under the blur, let's just do that again and see. Now we get this effect, all right, because it's under the blur. So that might be something interesting. Um, if I press X, that will cut away like this or add. Okay, and now you can see that we can get a nice area 
cutting away here that's very straight you could not paint that well do you do it on the UVs so let's see if I do that again if I can get one there and get one similar there I may not be able to I'll just do that all right now you can isolate it to that particular area and depending on where the light is that will determine whether or not it looks like it's uh, going in or out it's very light dependent okay so think about that kind of effect for you know a watch band or going around a cylinder or a floor like that and I'm going to show you one more and that's with the computer and uh, it's it's kind of similar I'm going to press F2 to get out of that and just come over to the computer and for the computer let's do this let's just go to materials and let's just add a plastic material here just this plastic mat we won't keep it blue though we'll go for sort of an off off yellowish brown uh, let's see maybe almost white it's kind of like that sci-fi thing uh, we'll do that and then we'll come over here and we'll add that filter again this part's not really necessary for what we want to do here but just to give a little bit and I'm also going to switch over my uh, oh I am on that HDRI anyhow okay so so there you can see what we've got and I'll just bring that down and we just want to do a little effect on the side so that we don't have to do it in geometry um, and so what I want to do is I want to add some slits on here in a particular area so I'm going to switch to orthographic and snap to the side I'm going to create a fill and I'm going to alt click height and I'm going to bring the height down maybe about halfway and I want to define an area so I'm going to add a black mask and I want my rectangle here and it's going to get a size that I like and I'm going to hold shift and control as I click and drag like that and you can see that I have a nice space in there now it's only on one side at this point and if this was the only object in the scene I didn't have the floor in the mirror because when I do uh, this thing is not in the center so I can't use symmetry easily on this but I can mirror this effect over and so we'll get into that in a bit all right so looking over here I've got this so I've painted in the region that I want and if I want I can press X hold shift and control and I can repaint the area uh, I can cut away in other words or I can add to uh, that I can also move that and I'll if I remember I'll show you that in a bit um, now normally what we would then do is we would add our pattern and in this case I'm going to add not filter I'm going to add a fill and I'm going to add stripes but when I do that the stripes go all over the place not just in the area that I want them in that rectangle so I'm going to hold off for the moment knowing that's going to happen I'm going to add a folder drag this into the folder and I'm going to put the same mask on the folder level so I'm going to right click choose copy mask right click on here paste into mask and you can't really see that something has happened but if I come down to here now the layer that I'm working on the one that has the height that was my dog coughing um, I'm going to add a fill and stripes and now we have this and that's kind of a cool effect right there even isn't that kind of neat all right but we don't exactly want that uh, we want to do our stripes uh, like this so I'm going to come down to the pattern I'm going to do what I did before pull the shift all the way to the to the side adjust the width now we do have a weird one here but we'll deal with that let's increase the number of stripes let's say we want it like that okay now I'm going to come out of orthographic just look in perspective because it, it tends to look better let's come back here and let's say let's drag the height all the way down and what could we do to make those look a bit better well let's try that blur filter so add filter and blur and right off the bat it starts to look a little bit better I think we also need to add that blur filter up here though let's try that 
filter blur there now we're getting the tops of it sort of rounded off as well now it looks to me like uh, this is a little closer to the back than the front uh, maybe I want to move that and so what I can do is I can come in here uh, I think I can do it on here I might want to do it actually on here on the mask itself without the effects let's try this let's add a filter and let's go to transform all the way down here and let's just adjust these things here okay that moves it a little bit now it's up there now it's there and it'll depend on how many stripes you have in there as well so that's not really helpful to us at this point you can of course come in here you can add a paint layer all right and either black or white if i choose white and i swipe down i'm sort of drawing a stripe but if i press x i could get rid of this one if i wanted if i thought you know what it's not that balanced and that maybe looks a little bit better all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a mirror and i'm going to do it up here on the folder level on this mask all right i'm going to add filter scroll down to mirror and you'll see that it's starting to show up here i'm going to come to the x-axis here i'm going to change this to 0.65 and we're going to have a look at it and we now have it mirrored onto the other side so trying to do this in geometry would be a, a, a real drag all right but now we have it here in texture and we've got our our stuff there all right and that's basically how i did those effects so give that a try on your you know mechanical interfaces or whatever you're modeling and hopefully you can get some nice effects take care